Let's open the box with a very special box here. Let's see what's inside. Yeah! All right. It's time to open the box. It's time to see what's inside. It's time to open up on Open the Box tonight. It's time to get on with it. Let's go and see what's inside. Here we go, so one, two, pork chop! It's time to get things started on the most sensational, inspirational, celebrational, pork chop-sational. This is what we call the Muppet Hall! Mm. Yeah! Sorry, I couldn't resist. I couldn't help myself there, but uh, I had to try that there. But uh, yep, we got some uh, from our buddies at, uh, I think this is from Diamond Select, if I recall. Yes, it is. So we got a whole bunch of these guys here. Uh, let's see here, who do we got? Uh, well, let's see what we got. There's, uh, I got just about all of them here, but there's one set I'm missing. Uh, Statler and Waldorf. Um, they are going to be coming along uh, later uh, because I wasn't. A they were not available uh, through this set here. So uh, they're going to be for another time. All right, who do we got here? We got uh, Rolf and Scooter. Scooter, why are your glasses crooked? I bet it's not just a byproduct of the package here. Comes with a piano and some accessories here. That looks pretty cool. Let's see what else we got here. The got the Swedish chef here, and along with one of the chickens, I assume that's Camilla. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be awesome. Three day, oh corn popping in your face. Oh man! All right, here we go. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, oh, we got Kermit and Miss Piggy. I'll take them out and get a better look at them here. This is my first time opening this here. I want genuine reactions here from this sort of thing. We got Bunsen, Honeydew, and Beaker. Hmm. Uh, somebody I know is uh, going to really appreciate that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding here. Now what do we got here? Ah, we got Fozzie Bear and Gonzo the Great. All right. And it comes with glasses. Oh my god, that's great. That is awesome. Okay, yeah, so the only, uh, well, it's not pictured on the box here. Yeah, uh, these guys are the only ones I don't have yet, uh, but they're on the way. So, uh, very cool. So it's, uh, Let's uh, check it out. All right, let's see here. All right, so this is from Diamond Select Toys. Okay, uh, it's the modern uh, uh, pictures and artwork here, uh, which is good. And uh, kudos to Disney for getting the Muppet Show uh, onto the Disney Plus uh, app here. And uh, they have all the episodes on there, except for two, as far as uh, when I read about there. Uh, one of them, the Brooke Shields episode, was I think due to music rights issues. Um, the other one is for a far more, whatever reason, I guess, that they didn't decide to put that one in there. I would assume they're going to cite music issue, issues for that as well, but whatever, leave that alone. Okay, so let's see here. So it looks like you, oh, you got Robin in there too. Okay, so you got three figures in here. Got a little Dougie, looks cute. Got a uh, place to sit. Got one of those Hollywood chairs. Let's see, uh... A log, I guess, down there. About the poster. Uh, Kermit's banjo. A picture of Kermie of, for Miss Pinky. A doggy bowl. And what is, what is that? What is, 
you see it has the little twist tie thingies on there. It's like a, something's supposed to be here. Uh, okay, that's weird. Uh, I'll have to look into that and see if there's anything uh, missing here, or if that's just a mistake or something like that. Uh, I don't know, but, uh, no, there it is. Let's take a look back at the packaging here. Gives you examples of other ones here that are available. Uh, and, uh, if you want, need to find a comic shop, uh, near you, uh, to purchase comics and support there, uh, go to comics, uh, shop locator dot com. And sorry, zero minus three, you are not allowed to play with this. Because this is not for kids. And neither is this video. All right, let's see here. Uh, what year? Mm, I have no idea. Okay, so this says 2020 on it here. So, so these are still, so this is still a 2020 piece. So sadly, they are ineligible. Because uh, I think these are reissues. I think I'm not sure, but uh, uh, but anyway, here we go. So there's that one. So let's take a look here. We've got the Swedish Chef, and that's Camilla. Looks like he has some extra handsets that he comes with here. Uh, some uh, Muppet food. Uh, that's Camilla, I'm sure. And a bunch of other cooking accessories here. So and a table. I don't know if that's a table that breaks or something, or if it's just a table. Wow. <laughs> Look at all this stuff that he comes with here. That is great. Stanler and Ward have come with their balcony, because that's what they're very well known for there. Uh, let's see. I love how it has it in, like, uh, goofy writing here. Hmm. What the hell is this guy's name? This uh, crustacean crabfish or whatever the hell he is. Uh, I remember seeing him in the Muppets uh, Monster game or whatever on the PlayStation 1. Uh, I'll think I'll put a picture of it somewhere so you can see it there. Uh, and, you know, I remember a couple of times he would sing, Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on. Yeah, strange. Well, it's Muppets. What do you expect? Okay, so we got the Bunsen, Honeydew, and Beaker. All right, and it comes with a bunch of stuff here, like a phone and some science stuff there, which looks really cool. Another table. Yep. Look at all that stuff there. I hope his mouth, uh, I don't think Bunsen's uh, mouth opens, but I hope Beaker's mouth does. But that would just be cool. If it doesn't open, then that's okay. We'll deal with it. Me, 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 me. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Two of my idols here. Uh, Fozzie Bear. Oh, okay, there we go. So there's another chicken here. So that's got to be Camilla. We've got rubber chicken, got some popcorn, a cup of coffee, and uh, another instance of something here. Uh, okay, we've got his horn. Gonzo has his horn there. Uh, I don't know if that's just meant to hold that or if it's just a mistake. We've got a spotlight here. Okay. We got the goofy disguise. Rubber chickens. Oh, cute little doggy. That's adorable. Okay, last but certainly not least, of course, here we got Rolf and Scooter. I uh, wonder if they ever made a adult version of Skeeter. Okay, we got his piano. We got the Beethoven thing. We got a microphone. We got the candelabra thing. Scooter with the, uh, the, the whatever that whatever that thing's called, and the uh, megaphone. Pretty cool here. All right. All right. Well, there they are. Here we go. Okay, and I figured out what. Um, okay, well, this is this came in underneath it here. There's the box. Um, I figured out what this is. It's to hold these two pieces of uh, plastic together. Uh, there's not a missing accessory or something here because uh, I pulled it up, and uh, yep, that's all the accessories. So, cool. All right, so uh, let's check it out.
Okay, and I figured out why uh, that's like this, because uh, it's actually the back part where it's indented in, or whereas the front is upward. So as soon as I remove this, um, I was going to just gonna have it exposed so you can see it here. Then all the stuff just fell out here. So let's take a look here. Tail. Looks like the tail is the only point of articulation here for this dog. Okay. Hmm. Kermit picture. Here we stand. Got a log. It's supposed to be a mirror, but uh, it's just some of that like reflective material here. I mean, it's like light reflective to a point, but not like where you can see your reflection in it there. Okay, there's the doggy bowl here. There's Robin. Let's see here. Obviously, his mouth. I gotta open or close. Head does move. And the arms move and the legs move. Not a lot of movement there, but it's enough for him to be his own character here, so it works out pretty good. Got the Hollywood looking chair. It doesn't fold up or anything, but at least you know you can put somebody in there. Let's take a look at the guitar. Alright. Uh piece here even though you got the little straps that look like they should move a little bit uh, but not really but uh, here we go let's take a look at Kermit here huh it's not I'm kind of impressed with the kind of articulation they got here Hold on a second. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And blah, blah, blah. Oh, I forgot the words. But uh, he's got an impressive amount of articulation there, uh, considering how small he is. Um, it's hard for me to demo it here. Uh, but yeah, he's got quite a bit of posability here. Um... You can bend the arms, uh, move them around a little bit, and you can move the legs a little bit. No ab crunch, obviously. Head can move up and around and whatever else here. Uh, the hand can go like this, and you can rotate it around like so. This might be a fig bath situation for some folks here, just to give you a heads up here. Uh, um... Yeah, if you're going to turn the feet around, it uh, turns from right here. Uh, just give you a heads up here. Uh, let's see the feet. I mean the legs, rather. Feet can turn around like that uh, independently here. All right, let's take a look at uh, Miss Piggy. All right, so some key points about Miss Piggy here. Um... She can move her neck a little bit, but the long hair does kind of inhibit the movement a little bit, so it's very restrictive. Um, you got single jointed elbows and whatnot, but the, my sample, um, let me see, you got the bicep swivel here, um, but um, like this was popping out a little bit, so I had to pop it back in. And when I tried to move this, uh, this also had the same situation here, so I had to pop that back in here, so probably gonna need a bath or something for this. Uh, you got, uh, you can turn here, 
Um, and uh, she does have a full legs and whatnot here, uh, so she can move a little bit to a point. Uh, she's got uh, single jointed knees. She's got ankles uh, and whatnot there. And that's really about it there. Uh, I mean, she looks great, of course. Uh, very true to the character, obviously. Um, but um, no alternate hands or anything like that there. But that's fine. It's, I mean, it's considering it's Diamond Select we're talking about here, I mean, you're getting a high-quality figure here. Uh, I'm not sure what scale uh, this particular figure would be because it's a Muppet we're talking about here. But I don't care. It's awesome. So... Okay, here's the inside of the little thingy here, uh, so you can send this off, I guess, and give some feedback and everything. It has some more pictures here. But I noticed something interesting. It has Bean Bunny here, but um, I didn't see him here. So I'm not sure if it comes with one of the other sets and I've just overlooked him or whatever. I don't know if it comes in as an accessory with one of the other guys. Uh, but uh, we'll find out. Attention. Today's lunch special is stringy brown chunks in luscious runny gray stuff. 